Now we will learn about mailbox in system will log. So mailbox is a communication channel. So what does it mean is it's a way to communicate between two different components which don't have any information each other. So it can be used to send a transaction from a generator to a consumer or it can be sent to transaction between tasks as well. But most commonly it is used with pure system with log based test bench in uh, especially when they are class based test bench. And here is a syntax to declare a mailbox, mailbox then mailbox name and these are the commonly used methods associated with mailbox which are new put and get. The new will create a mailbox and return a handle of it and uh, put and get methods are used to send something to the mailbox and get something from the mailbox. And also remember that by default the mailbox is typeless so it can send any type of uh, data in between. So we'll jump over to an example and see how a mailbox is used in a practical use case. So here is an example of using mailbox. Uh, these are written with classes. So the best way to demonstrate a mailbox is uh, to, ex to explain how uh, they can be used to communicate between classes. So if you are not familiar with system value classes, don't worry about the class part just go ahead and learn about mailbox. So in the first class it's named AXA generator. The ma a mailbox is a member in that. So uh, I've declared a mailbox with name mbox within this class. And uh, as you know a class have a constructor with the name new. It's a must have function within every classes in system mailbox. So this is a function which is being called when the class is created. So the new function Within the new function, uh, I am declaring, I am calling the new function of the mailbox again. So the mbox is created and returned to a handle. So mbox, mailbox is actually created within the class constructor function. And within the class, there is also another function named task. This is a user defined name. We can give any name, but the new name uh, you can't change. It's a, it, it, the function name, the constructor name must be equal to new. And here is a user defined task. And in that I'm just creating uh, some transactions and sending the transactions. So this is a generated class. So again AXITXN is another class which I have not shown here. So just understand that it's another class. It's a class which is representing a transaction. And in a for loop the class is created 10 times. So this is how you create an object of a class in system log and you are randomizing the class object. Again if you're not familiar with the randomize function don't, don't worry about this. But just understand that once you call a, an object dot randomize function of a random class then it will ge generate random values to the member variable so don't worry about it at all so just understand that after this point the transaction or individual transaction members have some values to send it so now the, we are assigning values to this transaction then next job is to send this transaction to so to to somebody who whoever is consuming it so at this point when this class is written it doesn't know who is going to consume this transaction so what it is doing is it is putting the transaction into this mailbox therefore any consumer who is connected to to this mailbox can take the transaction and consume it so in the generated class it is just putting the transaction into a mailbox known named mbox which is a member function member variable of this class itself now coming with the driver part the driver class is the one which is actually sending transaction to the dut so it it need to have a virtual interface uh, insist uh, virtual interface handle which is actually interface handle uh, pointing to the dut interface Apart from this virtual interface, this driver class named AXA driver also contain a mailbox named mbox and it is uh, created using the new within this uh, class class constructor. Now the AXA driver also go, got another task named run which is receiving transaction and sending this transaction into this interface. So, the uh, for ten uh, in, in a repeated loop of uh, in a repeated for loop, so it is getting a transaction from this mailbox. So mbox dot get will block until a transaction is seen in this mailbox, and after getting the transaction, uh, it will be driven to this interface appropriately based on what kind of transaction and inter interface it is. So this whole loop is repeated for ten times, on, and if if you are using both of these classes together as a pair. This class will generate 10 transactions and put it into the mailbox 
which is again a, a member variable within this class and this AXL driver class will is able to receive 10 transaction that is being uh, that is being if it if there are transaction available within this mailbox and they will drive this transaction into the, in the actual interface as well. Now in order to use these two classes in the test bench you need to create these classes and connect them appropriately. So that is done in this uh, test bench module where we are instantiating the interface and the DUT and the generator and the driver and note that mgen is the gener generator name and mdriver is a driver name and in the initial begin block first a local mailbox is instantiated with name mbox1 and driver and generator is created using its new function and the next step is uh, you need to call the run tasks so before calling the run tasks you need to connect this um, driver and generator together because this mailbox ob object within this class and this mailbox object within the driver class are both different objects and you need to make uh, make a connection between them or you need to make them as a same pointer so that is done by uh, after that is done by this uh, set of statements which is m mgen.mbox is equal to mbox1 and mdriver.mbox is equal to mbox1 note that mbox1 is the local mailbox within this initial begin scope therefore both this driver and generator is pointing to the same mailbox so whenever is driver is sending a, a transaction to this its mbox mailbox it will be available in the uh, in the driver driver mailbox as well and also you need to point the um, driver interface to this local interface instantiation as well and um, I, I am forking this run task of driver and uh, generator together so that they will start immediately so whenever driver is a uh, generator is sending a transaction uh, driver will be ready to get the transaction and it will be driven into the interface and finally when this 10 transactions are driven I am calling the dollar finish function so this is the best example to demonstrate a usage of mailbox in system so this will be very much useful when you are using pure system log based classes and so in order to connect between classes you and send transaction through the classes you need to use mailboxes now you will learn more about mailbox so you have seen about mailbox which is general in time so just by declaring these mailboxes the uh, we, even though we are sending only a specific type of uh, transaction to this mailbox you can put anything into this mailbox you can put an integer a string whatever it is so we are not restricting anything here so in most of the circumstances we wanted to restrict the uh, mailbox to only to carry a specific data type so that can be achieved by parameterizing the mailbox and that can be done by uh, passing a data type while you declare the mail mailbox so I, this is a syntax to declare a mailbox with a parameterized data type that is mailbox hash within the bracket the data type and m1 so the best usage of uh, mailbox uh, in the previous example should be like when you declare the mailbox it should be parameterized with the axa transaction type note that axa transaction is a type of transaction or the, its type of class which is being generated and sent into this mailbox so that in this example the mailbox should be parameterized with the axa, axa txn so if you are trying to send another integer or string from here it will flag an error here in the same way the, the driver will also driver mailbox will also should be parameterized with the axa transaction and also when you declare the initial mailbox or the local mailbox within its initial begin which is used to connect this driver and generator that again should be parameterized with this uh, specific parameter which is a specific class which is axa transaction so in general most probably you will always use a mailbox with as a parameterized type which is uh, used to send a specific type of transaction between different classes These are the functions and tasks that comes along with the mailbox instantiations. The function new will return the mailbox handle so it should be always created before using the mailbox and you can optionally pass an argument to this new function. So if you are not passing anything that mailbox will be unbounded that means the mailbox size is infinite. You can send any number of transactions to the mailbox but if you are passing a, an argument an integer argument a non-zero argument uh, to this mailbox then it represents the size of the mailbox cube so if you are passing it as 
100 at the time of creating the mailbox only 100 transactions can be queued up in the mailbox and after that if you're trying to put some transaction into the mailbox the that put transaction will get blocked until one one transaction is removed from its internal queue now we have already seen put transaction so it uh, it stores the messages in the mailbox and if it is a bounded one it put will block if there is no enough space in the or in enough space in this queue and in the same way a get is again a blocking call blocking fun blocking task it retrieve, uh, retrieves a transaction from the mailbox and it also removes some of the transaction that uh, from the mailbox and if the mailbox is empty it will wait until it gets a message so it's again a blocking task so both put and get a blocking task if there is no space to put put will get blocked and if nothing is there to get the get will get blocked instead of this both put and get blocking task you may optionally use the try put and try get blocking func non blocking functions so this will return in zero time it will just check something is of, if we can put something into the mailbox and if it can put it will put otherwise it will return immediately it won't wait there to put it in the same way the try get will try to get a transaction from the mailbox and if nothing is available it will also get immediately so these are just functions which are non blocking in nature now another set of methods is a peak and a try peak so peak is a, a task which is again similar to the get tasks uh, it's again blocking in nature so it will wait until something is available in the mailbox and if the mailbox is empty it will uh, block until something is coming into the mailbox the difference between a peak and get is that a get will actually remove the uh, object or the uh, the actual transaction from the mailbox but what peak will do is it will just return a copy of the item that is present in the mailbox it won't remove anything from the mailbox so if you just keep on calling peak nothing will get removed from the mailbox and if you are uh, if you are specific about some scenario which you don't want to remove but you wanted to get something from the mailbox you can use peak and try peak is its non blocking function version so it will just try to uh, get try to peak that means it will just try to get a copy of something if uh, something is available it will return a copy of it otherwise it will be uh, returned Im immediately without blocking anything and finally there is also num method which will return the number of items or number of messages that is currently present in the mailbox so it might be useful to check if the mailbox is empty at the end of your simulation sometimes so you have learned about mailbox in detail mailboxes are quite commonly used in pure system below class based test bench programming but if a test bench is based on uh, advanced system like methodology like uvm or ovm you don't need to use mailbox directly in uh, in programming most very oftenly because they will have their own uh, functions and tasks to communicate between different components